Hi everyone, Rob Panarello for Technique Peak. Today I'd like to go over Al Vermeil's hierarchy of athletic development and how we use this philosophy in the rehab with our patients. Uh, we want to use critical thinking process and not just follow a protocol where it's a week by week uh, instruction of what to do with our patients. And so, for those of you who don't know Al Vermeil, he is a Hall of Fame strength and conditioning coach. He won a Super Bowl or the first Super Bowl that the San Francisco 49ers won and then won six NBA championships with the Chicago Bulls. So he's very proficient in the training of athletes. And his philosophy or his hierarchy, very much like we do in physical therapy, you have to evaluate and test your athlete. And then you have to develop a work capacity. What does that mean? The athlete has to develop the ability to perform exercises time and time again, day after day, week after week, and not be over fatigued. So they have to be able to develop that strength endurance and the endurance to work out repetitively over time. And then once they have that work capacity, then we could focus on different physical qualities. And the physical qualities are the strength, explosive strength or power, elastic reactive strength, or what we would know as plyometrics, and speed. And what's important about this hierarchy is that each physical quality is dependent upon the optimal development of its predecessor, with strength being the foundation. So think of it this way. If we looked at a sprinter coming out of the blocks, the ability to explode out of the blocks is primarily dependent upon strength. And if you look at the literature and the research, especially by a gentleman by the name of Kavana years ago, we know that until the athlete reaches a speed of five meters, six meters, seven meters per second, they are strong. And then with the increase in velocity, they become powerful. Once they hit that velocity of five, six, or seven meters per second, depending who you read, at that point in time, they become elastic. And what does that mean? they start to rebound from the ground surface or become plyometric with the ground surface, where prior to that speed, they're pushing into the ground with strength and power. And then once they become elastic and reactive with the ground surface, then they hit top speed. So that's an example of how strength then depend, it becomes power, and then elastic, and then the sequence to speed. In rehab, it's the same thing, except we have added a step of mobility and movement, right? Whether a patient has range of motion difficulties, we've got to achieve that range of motion. If they're not able to walk properly or they're on crutches until they get off their crutches, they have to be able to ambulate up and down stairs and have some type of movement proficiency and the proficiency of adequate range of motion before they can start doing exercises technically proficiently. And so, with our patients, we evaluate and treat and test. Then we have to achieve mobility and movement so that they can develop a work capacity. And then they must become strong, explosive, plyometric or elastic reactive abilities. And then lastly, but not least, speed. And so at week 12, if you see, or week eight, in the protocol it says start performing plyometric training well, if the athlete isn't strong enough or explosive enough, that combination to become elastic, then you need to call the doctor and say, hey, I still need to work on strength and power before I could start doing these types of activities. And that's the ability to critically think. As far as strength and power, just think of it this way. If you're not strong enough to produce adequate force, then how would you possibly be able to produce force quickly? And so once again, the hierarchy that we use in rehab is evaluate and test on the initial evaluation, achieve mobility and movement, whether it's range of motion, gait, whatever the, uh, the patient needs, develop their work capacity by exercising and providing them the ability to exercise time and time again without getting over fatigued, then develop the physical qualities in the order of strength, power, plyometric, and speed. Right? I hope this helps in regards to your critical thinking process. Thank you and have a nice day.